Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hussain. In this video, I will show you how to download global emissions data for the WarfCam model, as well as downloading uh, a tool which is called PrepCam Sources. This tool is used to make emissions data for the WarfCam model. I'm in Firefox, just search for WarfCam global emissions and uh, from the links here open this link which is related to the exercises of the WorfCam. here you can if you open it you can find the FTP site which is shown here but the point is that if you uh, click on this link nothing happens if I open it in a new tab also nothing happens you can download the data inside uh, download the data by this link by FTP and with your terminal so go to your terminal and uh, here I have already made uh, a directory called prepcam which is going to hold uh, the data and also um, the prepcam source tool This is the link that I have just copied. FTP is the command I'm going to use to uh, go through, to navigate through this uh, directory. But before that, uh, remove the extra part, remove this part and remove the FTP at the beginning of this link. Enter. Uh, it asks you the name. Uh, a username you can put anonymous as your username and for the password just push enter no password is needed here now you are inside uh, the FTP if uh, and the commands uh, the command line is similar to uh, bash or terminal Linux terminal I list the content in this directory uh, go to the directory called TAQ CDTAQ list the content and uh, go to the directory global emissions global emissions inside this directory you can see that uh, global emissions data version 2015 and the tool prepcam sources version 2015 are available to be downloaded and for downloading these data you can use this get command for example I want to download prepcam sources version 2 version 2015 you can easily download it, download it by the get command and uh, transfer completed and uh, if I open a new tab here you can see that uh, my program PrepCam source has been downloaded successfully you can also download um, global emissions data but I just ignore it because I have already downloaded it I just wanted to show you how to download how to uh, get access to this FTP link and how to download the contents by your terminal okay uh, here let me um, this is actually a zipped tar file the first step is to uh, on tar this program so these are the switches x z f it has been on tar I go to prep cam the source version 1.5 and uh, you can read the readme in the readme there are some guidance for you to uh, you can find some guidance to install and compile your uh, program okay let's suppose you have installed your WorfCam 
and uh, your WorkCamp model and all of the required libraries have, have been already installed, such as uh, all the required libraries such as NetCDFZ, Lib, all the libraries that are uh, uh, prerequisite for the WORF model. So uh, for the PrepCamp source tool, I go to the bin directory, after that go to build directory. Here you can see that uh, there are some uh, configuration files. We are, go we, are we are going to use gfortran for our compiler, so you need to use this configuration file. Before that, open it, gfortran forth. You need to uh, modify some of the variables inside this configuration file. Before that, I have, uh, because I have already installed this, and uh, I have set uh, the correct variables for the correct values for the variables, and uh, I can copy it from here to this new configuration file. Um, so let me let me just um, copy this file inside the previous file. Okay, I will uh, I will share this file in the GitHub so you can uh, check the uh, modifications that is required to uh, for this file so you can compile prepcam sources. But uh, the points that are necessary for you to modify is that. Uh, this user lib64 you, you you should pay attention to change lib to lib64 this is the most important one and uh, also hdf program should be installed okay now uh, before installing go to the Open README and uh, this is the command that is required to install PrepCam sources. But before you uh, run this command, it is necessary to uh, change. Uh, to put some modifications in the source code in one of your source code if your gfortran version is higher than 10 this is this modification is necessary for you and uh, so open make file open include uh, gfortran wharf and here here in this variable uh, options you need to add these two variables these two variables were not uh, were not in the default file, so you need to add these two variables. These two variables are necessary if your gfortran version is lower than uh, gfortran 10. Uh, is is higher than gfortran 10? Actually, it's higher than gfortran 10 because uh, prepcam sources has been developed for the gfortran uh, lower than gfortran 10. So uh, uh, 
the other point is that now if I run the command, if I run the, if I inst install or compile prepcam, let me see what happens. Uh, this is the right command. G4 trend wharf and yeah. Okay, uh, you you f uh, you face some error here, and you need to modify one of your source codes. Just open Edgar the, the source code Edgar emissions dot f ninety and uh, search for agriculture and for here put some spaces until the size of this uh, variable the size of this name is equal to the size of agriculture and the same task for uh, the rest of the names now it's okay and uh, save it and compile it again let me check it again uh, I mistakenly uh, actually I modified a wrong file go to the source directory go to the sor source directory and open edgar emissions.f90 agriculture and do the task the previous file was wrong okay now get back to bin build directory and run the compile command again make make command again takes a couple of seconds okay finished building prep cam sources if i list executive files here i don't find any i go uh, go back to the directory and you can see that uh, your uh, executive file has been generated has been compiled here and this is something that you can use to create or make your emissions data for the WorfCam model you can also list all the uh, libraries that are linked to this executive these are all the libraries that are linked to this executive so you can see that some uh, major libraries uh, let, uh, such as netcdf or hdf libz those libraries that are required for installing WorfCam, the same lab libraries are also required for installing and compiling prepcam sources <laughs>